Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel. The following video is for class 3, subject general science, chapter 7, going into space. Now before I begin this chapter, I would like to tell you that you need to, to understand this chapter, you need to have imagination. Okay. So let's begin the chapter. This, in this chapter, you are going to learn what is universe, what are galaxy, what is constellations, what are comets, meteoroids and steroids, asteroids and what is gravity. All these things you are going to learn in this chapter. So, now uh, we all love to pretend that we are astronauts zooming into space in our rockets, right? You like that imagination where you are going into space. Right. Do you know about the celestial bodies that we will come across in our journey in space? Some of them we do know, right? Like uh, planets, there are different stars, we uh, get across the moon. All these things we get across before we go into space. So, let's begin. What is universe? Universe is everything that is around us. Everything that is around us is universe. Not only the things, the living things uh, around you like your uh, family or animals, your fishes uh, or any living things around you. It includes the non-living things also. Not only the things that are on earth but all the things that are also in the space. Everything, every bit of it belongs to something called universe. Universe is everything that is around us. Now around uh, your, you, you have your parents, you have your electronic gadgets, right? Uh, now in this is inside your house. Around your house, you have many neighborhoods. Around your neighborhoods, you have us, the whole city. Like that, if you keep going the, uh, around our earth, we have a lot of celestial bodies like other planets. We have uh, the satellites, the natural satellite, the moon. We have different stars. All these things come under the universe. Okay, universe includes all living things and non-living things. It is not only a living part of the things. It is also the non-living things that are surrounding us also come under the term universe. Our planet Earth, all the other planets, our planet Earth, all the other planets, stars, galaxies, everything is a part of universe. When you say universe, everything belongs to universe. Like the earth, all other planets, the stars, the galaxies, the sun, the, there, are an, uh, there are other uh, galaxies also. So in that galaxy, there are different suns. So all these things belong to universe even time space and matter are part of the universe time we measure time right uh, from yesterday today tomorrow all these things depend upon time space and matter everything belongs to the term called universe every time space and matter are part of the universe in other words the universe is everything that we can see detect uh, sense measure touch or feel. What is the universe? Universe is everything that we can see, detect, sense, measure, touch or feel. Anything that you can do, anything that you can detect, that means you with the things that you can see. Sense, that means you can sense whatever the, uh, whatever what is happening around you uh, then measure where you can measure different things then touch and feel all the things that you can do are uh, comes under the word universe so uh, in our soul in our universe we have our galaxy in our galaxy we have our the solar system which you have learned about in the previous year right what is the solar system the sun and the eight planets become uh, form the solar system what are the names of the eight planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune these are the um, different planets in our solar system you can see here the closest planet to the sun is mercury then venus then earth mars 
Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are the eight planets. Our solar system means the sun and all the other eight planets together form the solar system. Then, uh, have you ever wondered what is the size of the universe? We do not know the exact size of the universe because we cannot see any edge or boundaries of the universe. To now, we are the part of universe. To see the universe from outside, it is very difficult. Okay, uh, large, huge telescopes are used to uh, measure the size of the universe. The visible universe is at least 93 billion light years across. Okay, now light years means it is the distance of light travel in one year. Uh, in one year, light can travel about 9 trillion kilometers. So, our uh, the size of the universe is 93 billion light years. Okay, uh, it is that far. But the thing is, we cannot see any boundaries of our universe. We can only make out that, okay, this is the visible part of the universe. Universe is very, very huge or very big. It is unimaginable. Now, here is a small uh, picture of the universe. Okay. Now, in this universe, there are many, many galaxies. There are many solar systems. There are many uh, earth, the, uh, the particles like Earth which are present, which we cannot uh, see or which we cannot measure or it is very difficult to measure them or it is very difficult to observe them uh, so one light year a light year is the distance traveled by light uh, in one year which is equivalent to about uh, 9 trillion kilometers it is about 9 trillion kilometers here in the picture you can see that uh, the distance between the sun and the earth is 150 million kilometers it is 150 million kilometers, the distance between the earth and the sun. So, it is all measured in light year. Light year is used to measure the distance between two celestial bodies or the distance in space. If you have to measure any distance from earth to any other um, and any other planets or if you have to dis measure the distance between sun and the earth and from the earth to other um galaxies all these things if you have to measure we have to measure in the uh, system of the light year itself so a light year is the distance tra light travels in one year about 9 trillion kilometers now scientists have believed that universe began with a big bang which took place nearly 14 billion years ago 14 billion years ago, there was a blast in the space which led to the present universe, uh, galaxies. All these things have come out from, the, from that explosion itself. This sudden explosion was followed by a rapid expansion. Okay, so that theory where it says that all the universe, the galaxies, everything began that one 14 billion years ago is called the Big Bang Theory. Now, uh, it is believed that the universe started with that big bang and it is called the big bang theory. This sudden explosion was followed by rapid expansion. Because of that explosion, there was a lot of uh, expansion happened with the universe and different galaxies and different solar systems. Time, matter and space all began with the big bang theory. Over millions of years as the universe expanded, it also cooled down. Some matter cooled down to become planets and some are still blazing hot stars. Now oh, everything, our sun, our stars, moon, earth, um, plan other planets, other stars, all these things, satellites, all everything came out from that big bang itself. Okay, he here in the picture you can see the picture of the big bang, how it expanded and later Later on started cooling down only after 14 billion years after 14 year, billion years only there is life formation that is the life of the man life of the animals has been formed after 14 billion years itself after that expansion after that explosion so the universe contains billions of stars in fact scientists believe there are as many stars in the universe as there are grains of sand along all beaches and deserts on earth if you collect all the sands in the beach and the desert on the earth and if you count the number of um, 
if you count the number of grains of sand in it it is equivalent to the number of stars that are present in our solar in our universe okay so um now next next we are going to see what is a galaxy a group a big group or cluster of stars is called galaxy a small cluster of a group of stars is called a galaxy okay speciality of this galaxy is we live in a galaxy our solar system lives in the galaxy itself there are thousands of galaxies in the universe which come in many shapes and sizes which come in many shapes and sizes the uh, there are different galaxies present in our universe which are in different shapes and different sizes which we will be learning in the next uh, video we will even learn about which galaxy what is the name of the galaxy that we are living in stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning please read the textbook whenever you find time and uh, do the exercises both in the textbook and your workbook try to do it and take the help of your parents stay at home stay safe take care of yourself children thank you